the presenter is um, recording, so whatever device you have to record on, uh, laptop, PC, Mac, doesn't matter, um, you're recording. When you finish with your recording, um, it's then uploaded to the server. And that process, the one thing you need to make sure of is when you finish, like let's say you were recording in a classroom, um, the, the podiums have the software on it, uh, you wouldn't want to shut the computer off right away. Okay, so you wouldn't want to close the lid on your laptop, go catch the bus, um, and, and an hour later get home and wonder why the file never got finished uploading. You, if you uploaded it um, and then went back, if you finished in class, went back to your office, opened the lid, within a few minutes it would go up, it would be up on the server, but you have to give it a little bit of time uh, to get loaded up to the server. Once it's on the server then, it's like you're in a, a, a line at the grocery store, and it's a queue system. So, um, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, you're in a line with, uh, you know, 10 people, and it's the next one in line gets to go, and they're get, getting checked out, and then they're on their way. And it works the same with this. There are, I think, uh, three uh, uh, checkout stands, if you want to call them that, available and so if you uh, post your lecture and there's a check stand, checkout stand available your content then gets converted into the format that, that you've asked for so if you've asked for it to be made into uh, an iTunes file then it gets made into an iTunes file in Ben's case he was asking for files to be made into multiple formats so that's going to that's like him occupying three checkout lines or having it wait in line three times and uh, each time it's finished, it will um, uh, send you a message saying that the content is now ready. Uh, so you can, you can have that. We'll show, what, show you what that looks like. And then once it's finished, um, if it's for iTunes, we uh, will help you upload it to there. If it's Blackboard, you'll get a link and you'll be able to take it to, um, directly to Blackboard. Um, and uh, there are other formats available that we can, we can also discuss. Um, the question is, do we have to choose which one we want? Yes, you'll tell us at the beginning which one you prefer, and that will be a profile that you get. And if you later decide, you know what, I think I want to put it on Blackboard, but I also want to put it on iTunes U, we'll give you an, another profile, and you'll be able to work with that. And the profile will, you'll put it one place, and it'll go all three if, if, you, chose for, if you choose to do that. So here's the basic workflow um, that what it looks like when, when you're uh, going to start this process. You're going to um, open whatever software on your computer that you want on your screen while you're beginning, okay? Now when Ben came in here and talked to us, um, he, I asked him, do you have any slides you want to show? And he said, no, I don't. So I just quickly made a slide that had his name and the title of what he was going to talk about, and that's what we saw on the screen. And if we were recording what he did with Camtasia Relay, you would see that slide and hear his voice in the background. That's the way it would have worked. So for you, it's the same way. If you're working through a PowerPoint, you would just put the, open up the PowerPoint to begin the process. If you're explaining something to them that's a website or a piece of software, you would open that up. And you can have multiple things open and switch around. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about what you don't want to have open uh, in, a, in a few minutes. Uh, but whatever you want on the screen, uh, get it open. And then um, you'll open up Relay. You'll open up the software. We'll show how that looks. And you'll choose a profile. Now, if you have only have one profile, that's what will show up. So if you've told us, I want it to go to Blackboard, um, it'll come up, uh, right now what will come up and say screencast.com and uh, that's where it's actually being stored at and it's a file that'll be um, privately stored uh, on a server. You'll get an address, a URL that you'll then paste into Blackboard to use and we'll show how that works. Um, and then you'll want to test the audio. You'll want to make sure that the audio is working, um, you know, just check one, two, just to make sure you're getting levels uh, when you record, and we'll show how that looks. And then you'll actually record the screencast. So you'll just click the record button, 
and you'll begin. Uh, you'll begin working, and when it's finished, when you've said, okay, that's uh, where I want to stop, you'll um, uh, trim it. You'll have the ability to trim it, which means you'll, if you want to take something off the beginning and the end of the file, you'll be able to do that, and then you'll publish it. And once you choose publish, it'll go out to the server. And here is another advantage to this idea of doing it, having it broken down uh, into maybe two or three sections during your class, is because uh, once you say publish, um, it, that, that particular file is off to the server in, in the line at the shopping, uh, in the checkout line. And so by the time you got back to your office, if you had recorded three separate ones, the first two would probably already be waiting for you, uh, ready to, to post into Blackboard. Um, uh, and the third one would probably be done soon after that. We do encourage you to not um, put yourself in a position because you can't really control how long it will, you don't know how many other people are using the server. So if you're putting yourself in a situation where, oh, I need to have this up in the next hour available to my students, there might be other files being rendered at that time. So you, you need to be careful not to put yourself in that, that situation. It, whatever you're seeing on the screen is what will be recorded, okay? So um, we'll, we'll show how that looks, and I'm going to actually do that right now. So um, what I'm going to do is go uh, out to the web, and so um, here's Camtasia Relay. And this is where you would go to download the software. So I'm going to have you go to this address um, um, right now so that you can start this process of getting, getting an account set up. Okay. So the, the actual address to this is um, H, it, you just need to go to, I'm going to pull this up on the slide. Hang on just a second. I'm going to jump ahead again you here. So the actual address is on this slide, which is, if you, you can just put in uh, uh, camtasia.spu.edu slash relay. And Camtasia is C-A-M-T-A-S-I-A dot spu.edu slash relay. So when you would be on this side, if you haven't already done it, you would type in your login just like you would um, to get into uh, Blackboard or onto your email and you would click sign in and the first time you do this it might ask you to verify that you're um, using that you have options uh, set correctly and it explains whichever browser you're using it will tell you where to to click, like in this one, it's telling me to click on Tools, Options, Privacy, and I already have that done, so um, click there to log in. Okay, so if you're, um, you're looking at mine up here, this is giving you an idea of what you would see at some point in, in the uh, future when you would look at this. Um, what I'd want you to see is that it'll um, allow you to um, the, the web portion of this lets you see what you've done, and it also lets you download the software. Everything else is done just on your computer. So you're not logging into this site to actually record. You're logging into it two times, one to actually use, uh, to download the software, but you also might go there to just check the status. So I'm clicking right here like on a presentations link and it's showing me um, uh, presentations that have been uh, made available, okay? So here's these, if I click here and look at um, uh, completed, here's it showing different recordings that have been made that I've done, okay? Um, and so that might be a reason to go here, but primarily the reason you'd come here is to click on this download recorders link. So that's what you'll need to do in your office or on your laptop or in your home. Go that download recorders link and either select the Mac or the PC version, whichever you have, 
um, and use that, okay? And so if I'm this particular computer, I have a Mac, I click on that link, it saved the file for me and I just run it, okay? So in a typical way. If you have any questions about installing it, um, we can definitely help you with that, okay? So once you'd have it loaded, uh, that would be, um, this is just the status of presentation. This would be once you've published something, depending on the location where you've published it. Okay. So um, I'm going to, before um, we go any further then, you've got the software. Everybody has the software now on your, your machine. And so I'm going to show you um, how to uh, actually set one up, set up a recording for the first time. So um, I'm going to open up. So Camtasia Relay is on your computer now. So you should be able to, to um, if you're on a PC, you should be able to just go down to start. So um, I'm going to open it on mine. And so the very first time that you open Camtasia, it will want you to log in.